you can appreciate and love and care for these people while they're around. And you can do your best. And you can mourn them when they leave. And you can carry them in your heart. The pain isn't a bad thing. It's a reminder of why you're doing what you're doing. Can I admit something to you? You know I'll take anything to the grave for you, Kyla. <laughs> Even if you think less of me. I don't think I can. I'm tough on you because I believe in you. I don't think you're some sniveling little boy that the Lord has picked up. I see what he sees in you. You're just a stone that needs to be polished. Or a turd. Well, once you polish a turd enough, it doesn't look like a turd. I'm... <laughs> For this first time in my life... Ever since I was born, everything I did up until now, death has followed me everywhere, like a silent watcher. It happened to friends, it happened to family, people I love and care about, it nearly happened to me dozens, dozens of times. And... Last night, when everyone was crowding around me and doting over me, and I, you know, I peeked behind the veil again. And when I came to, I, for the first time in my life, I'm scared. I'm scared of dying. I'm not scared about what happens after or where I'll go or who I meet, but after everything people keep telling me when this happens to me, we can't do this without you. Without you, there's no future. I'm scared of what I'm gonna leave behind the people I'll fail I've never felt that before and I feel weak <laughs> so. it's a heavy burden all of it Everything that's been placed on your shoulders. And it's not weak to fear death. It's smart. Men who sit there and pretend like they're not afraid of it, they're either stupid or they're lying. Death is somebody that we all dance with, and one day it takes the lead. It's a true reality. But know this, if you find some comfort in it, you're not cursed. Death, especially in this world, in these nations lately, it's a reality for everybody. You walk down the street and you throw a stone and... Somebody's lost somebody to... the guard or mugging or sickness. It's a reality, and if you can understand that it's something that we have to walk alongside, it becomes a little bit easier to understand. Like a wolf, always prowling at your side. You're aware of it. You respect it. I get it, though. I talk a big game, but I don't want to die either. I don't want to leave you. I don't want to leave what could be something I need to be a part of. I don't want to feel like a failure. That's exactly it. 
to come all this way after leaving my dad. Like I was going to fix everything to end up dead across the water. You know how embarrassing that would be. It's okay to be scared. I'm scared too. That's why I asked you to talk about it. So when we go and we do our job tonight, I know I can support you. This is a hard thing, you know. <clears throat> I thought learning what I was going to learn to do yeah. this was just going to be about how to settle disputes between farmers and maybe pick up a sword every once in a while, but no one ever tells you the weight. No, they don't. Very few have to wield it, that's the problem. Everybody has an idea of what it feels like. They have this notion, but they've never actually had to make the choice that you made today. There will be more like that in the future. You're gonna make... A choice between a horrible... <clears throat> and an unthinkable one again one day. And I'm sorry. I wanna tell you it gets easier. But part of being a good ruler means that you have a heart. And I really hope you don't close it. It's hard. Everything's screaming at me. Just shut away. It's safer that way, easier, and... That bathhouse worker had a thing for me, and... I closed off. That's sad to say it, but it's probably a good thing I did, because... Severick, the boy, he just desperately wanted to be a part of what we were doing. And I told him not to, I told him not to get involved, I didn't want him to be a part of this, I didn't want to grow attached to him in case exactly this happened. And it did. To both of them. I, how can I not feel like that anymore? If it keeps happening. I can't really speak from experience. I haven't had the blessings you've had with the friendships you've made. But what I can say... Fate is a weird thing, and bathhouse worker and the hobbit. They loved you in their own ways, right? Maybe next end. time somebody loves you like that, you could love them back. Because then, if they do make a sacrifice, at least they get to go with happy memories. Well, Lenner, I don't get to do that anymore. Maybe not now. It's okay for your candle to be a little bit weak right now and... Your light's a little dark, that's fine. That's what mourning is, that's what loss is, Kyla. It's okay to hurt. There's a lot of people back there that really care for you. That's the problem, though. You know? Five, six years ago, if I died, no. I'd just fade away. That's it. Now, <laughs> these people rely on me and... Well, that's the one thing I was telling you to fix. It's okay to have friends. It's okay to love them. But you need to teach them, like a leader, to deal with themselves. Not to be harsh. You're going to be a leader, Kyla. Instead of being the hand that feeds them, teach them to feed themselves. Instill courage and optimism. You have that capability to keep these people in your lives and enjoy them, but also instill the ability for them to stand on their own two feet without you.
You're so much stronger than you give yourself credit for. It's just... never... strong enough, though, right? There's people I could have saved if I was faster, quicker on my feet, thought better, I would more tactically sound. The whole reason I'm like this is because I <laughs> didn't see an ambush coming with goblins and orcs. I read so many fucking books, have so many talks with Tazim, reread about so many battles, and in the moment it escaped me, and we nearly died because of it. Is it going to happen again? Now that you've learned the lesson that was taught, I hope not. You fell down. You pick yourself up, and you train. You learn from the lessons as hard as they are. I'm sorry that you lost your friends today. I would not wish that on anybody. I but it is still a teachable moment. Don't get used to it. That's not the type of man I want to follow. I'm trying, but I just feel so cold. <laughs> You're allowed to feel cold right now. You literally just lost your friends, but don't let the feelings you have right now shape the man you'll be later. Grieve, mourn, scream. When we get back, I'll put my shield up and I'll let you hit me as many times as you want if you need to work out the anger. Don't tempt me. <laughs> It's not temptation. It's an offer for training. If you have to get that rage out, let it out. But after it's out, don't close your heart. Thank you. Doing my job. So now... Little Lord. Do I need to keep you in check this evening? Do I have to hit you with the pommel of my blade if you start seeing stars going red? I don't think it would be an issue. <clears throat> hmm. There is a chance. But Maybe you go... Hang out with your friend there, and you work out some of that anger. Take a run. Go throw stones. Do something. Throw You've got stones. time before we set out. Sometimes I like to be a little destructive. Throw stones I love throwing stones. Trees. Anything that's breakable. You don't want to waste your sword before we fight. The point is... Go do something that gets that energy out with somebody you trust. Alright. I'll be honed for tonight. I'll make it work. Good. I'll be here when you get back. Thanks. Take the time you need. I'm gonna blow off some steam, if you wanna come with. Okay. But tomorrow I can reserve all 20 for you. Oh, very well. That'd be fine. I'm waiting for tomorrow, right, I'm not in a rush. Oh, street. That'd be, oh, there then it'd be a silver yes, 20 no. or a silver 75 since you're buying a I lot. just wanted to pick up the the pickaxe and the hatchet. No, it's not the hatchet, but the axe. The wood axe. Oh, 
Oh, the good is new. You did great work. I actually weren't too badly damaged. Most of the yeah, they were just a little rusty. They needed to. Help. Yeah. Good. I knew you could do it. <laughs> mm. Um. I'm sorry about the other day. The other day. That my potions failed you. Oh. I'm sorry. Uh, I mean, I barely remember it, so no hard feelings here. <laughs> you did everything you could. Sometimes yeah. I just get unlucky. I was going to apologize for you, actually, for using up so much of your stock. Do I owe you anything? <laughs> Well, we did all feel something when I used that Goldrick Elix Log Goldrick's chance on you. The what? That was a weird feeling. Taking us that potion that glows that is supposedly tempts fate. I thought I was imagining that. Every I No. Huh. It worked. It felt like you stepped two steps backwards. Uh, is what I felt. Hmm. Like time stood still and went backwards just for a moment. Well, that's handy. Grab a couple more of those. Mm. Well, I can only make one every so often, and I plan to make another one that's in the works. But no, I just used two advances on you. They're normally seven silver apiece, but if you could just repay me for the ingredients, that would help. How much do I owe you, Miss Venora? Uh, ingredient cost would be... If it was you, and I don't... Since we would only need to recoup costs, so then I can just remake it for us again. Let me look real quick. You know what? Let me make it easy for you. You said it was seven it per. Be... Yeah. Because I never know, the only reason why we charge that much is we never know if I'm going to have to buy some of the materials to make it, or if it's really available. That's why it's like always a guesswork with that, when the potions come to mind. Yes, 14 silver. And my oh, eternal thank thanks you. for saving my life. Oh. Again. <laughs> I try. <sighs> I want to take that down. <clears throat> Is there anything that you're looking for, and specifically that you want me to work towards in the future? Just um, so that I kind of get an idea of what you're like to have or would love to have in the future. Hmm. Oshan usually uh, works on my utility needs. All I need is really health potions okay. from you, which, I mean, <laughs> you've been doing a lot of, so... Okay. Okay. Well, I should be able to make one more, hopefully, once uh, the merchants come into town this evening. Um, Actually. I need to buy some dragon fennel. Spider mm -hmm. climbing. If you could manage that, that would be amazing. But I know that's kind of rare. Uh, let me look at my recipes for you. She's going to look in her book real quick. Let me see here. The spider climbing agility. Actually, I could make that for you. It just takes a rare viscera. Luckily, it's not any rare herbs. It's just the rare viscera that it takes. And I actually have, like, five in stock. Doesn't need to be done anytime soon. Viscera. Just that those are the kind of things that I okay, like. Okay, just so. put that in the back. Okay, so I will put that on the back burner to be made for Shariq. Okay, I will notate it down in my ledger. Thank you, Venora. To work towards getting the herbs for that. Mm-hmm. Um. Um, something like that, I think, just to let you know so you'll have in the back of your mind, mm -hmm. it's really not too expensive. It's only like five five or six silver for it, so. Yeah, when I get enough, I'll um, <laughs> let you know. Kind of yeah, right no now. worries. Like I said, it's going to take... No, it's just going to take me time to get it together. Mm. All right, if you'll excuse me, I need to blow off some steam for tonight. Okay. 
careful. Ah, good. I've been looking for you. Hmm. This is your last chance. You can stay here if you'd much prefer. Otherwise... All right. You have to hang on tight, though. Apologies. Um, I wanted to inform you. Quite all right. You were here on business. When you're all settled to depart later, if you depart today, uh, I'm going to need your help with something. You and I. All right. That's my boy, cheese. Thank you. Oh wait, I'm I'm a blue man idiot. I can actually make that event soon. I forgot I got four herbs that I collect from Bellano. I need to go back to my alchemy shop. I can actually make what I need. I want to take a moment of your time. I've been running around like I'm that dog. Um, oh, not like that dog. Huh? Oh no, you're in the wrong area. Wrong saddle. Did you not see the large wolf dog that ran past you? Mm, no, I didn't catch mine. Well. I assume the others informed you. Did you take the safe route? Yes. Good. Are you Will you be returning today or no? No, I will be returning today because. And if they're not here, Wolfar will be walking back with me to the grove for safety. I can escort her then. Did Tia say he needed us? Oh, Given okay. the state of things, it is best to move in groups somewhat smaller okay. than we usually do. Okay. I mean, I would the others and I have been spying... The others and I have been spying a roaming band of orcs led by one of the greys. <laughs> Stinky the cheese. And they've been coming to the river. I do not know oh no, my habits. fucking thingy's br There we go. They have Handbrake was on. Um, I'm not gonna be able to, like, see any hand movements or hear you. So, like, just, like, squeeze me if you need. Squeezes you on the shoulder twice, or yes. Fantastic. <clears throat> Have you been on a horse before? He squeezes. Mm. I feel like I haven't taken him out in a couple of days. You all secured. Two squeezes. All right. Stay down nice and close. We're about to get it first. Go on, boy. There you go, buddy. Holy shit, this beach is bumpy. Arms around your waist. Just squeeze if you want me to slow down. It's okay. I don't mind.
The grip loosens because she remembered you're still injured. <laughs> This is gonna suck when I get off of this, but for now it's not bad. There you go, buddy. Get it all out. All that pent up energy, boy. There you go. <laughs> He's loving it. You holding on that okay? Squeeze, squeeze. Good boy. You're all right, boy. <clears throat> I used to be terrified of horses, actually. But after spending time with this one, I <laughs> kind of really like the feeling. Too far. Say hello to the Imperials. Slow it down, boy. Still good, little wolf. Two slightly tighter squeezes. It's okay, we'll go slower now. Just enjoy the scenery. to horses eventually if you want to follow me everywhere. <clears throat> I could see you on a horse. A poke in your back. Ow. I could see you on a horse. Riding low to the saddle, quiet as the night. You know what one of my favorite things in the world is? 
effect when you're looking at like a field like this or of grass and it's just really open and then you see those waves of wind go through it not one big one but those several little waves and you see the the grass and such bending as they go it's one of my favorite things just watch see it's like an ocean of gold I always think about how different life could have been, you know. Maybe I would have been a farmer or something. <laughs> Just looking over my field. Weird to think about. One thing I really missed in Arrowland was how warm the sun is, you know. Which is ironic because I fucking hate the sun. But I like the feeling of the warmth on my face. It's a nice reminder that we're not in a fucking cave again, you know. You alright? Wasn't too fast, I hope. <sighs> Looks like it's time. You feel ready? squeezes. The second squeeze holds on. Yeah. As if asking if you are ready. I think so. That's what Elena was asking me. I feel different now. Things aren't the same as they were a couple of days ago, I guess. I've seen things, I've... 
peeked behind the veil of Lady Death again. And every time I do, I see more. I don't think she's happy with me. But I feel ready. I feel honed. Still not a hundred percent back physically. You have to watch my back. Good. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Make sure you're around. Alright. I am. Marcus. Mm. Sorry. Getting down. Let me get that. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll carry it. That wasn't so bad, was it? to brush him, because he worked really hard today. You want to feed him? How about you, Tang? Just outside of the north gate, to me, to a uh, injured animal. You talking about Venora? Oh, Lord. Did you just hear an arrow volley? Thought I heard something. I could have sworn that was an arrow volley. You must have really not had any uh, connection. Right. Mm. <sighs> okay. Get prepped, everyone. Don't hang around the forge. All yeah. right. Can wait inside. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, here we go! Here we go! Eye glass, coconut smoke roots, uh, flash powder, oats and whistle. My 
outfit just in case he. Uh. Gonna use your restroom. <clears throat> Alright chat, did I miss anything? on this model, so we're gonna say that he took it off to make himself not look weak to the enemy. Mind if I use your room to change? Sure. Thanks. How you feeling? I just want this done and over with now. Oh yeah, we're getting there, buddy. I go get in my armor as well. Go out the back. Oh wait, yours is up the front, yeah. Sorry, yours is up the top. It's, um, you know where it is, right? Just before the stairs, there's a little room yeah, with a few... Yeah, you're on top of it. Good lad. You would note part of his armor is a little loose. He obviously couldn't reach it himself, being a little sore still. Hey. Would you say I should be wearing my other outfit for this? What makes you feel more comfortable, Torty? This would if I'm on the boat, I'll be honest. Then that. Alright. No survivors. Cool. 
I'll just... No one should be able to report us. Understood. There we go. That does part. Hey, son of a bitch. Be gone. There we go. It's <laughs> torn to you. <laughs> Sweet. Hey. I can't you mistake it. Oh, you look so badass! <laughs> I did so good on your armor! You did, thank you. You're welcome. I just cool. need to get braces. Awesome. Oh yeah, you, you want me to put good. you down for that? I don't have the money right now, but thank you. Alright, no worries. <sighs> From now on, Venora. Just to make sure, did any of y'all need, did anybody need more advance real quick before I left? I, I'm sure it would be nice to have. I'll have to. Yeah. I know I Sarah has I don't three. have any healing supplies, but I don't have any money either. How much do you want for it? I don't have a lot of money. It's just the normal seven silver, unless if you can't do that, then the minimum would ask. I got was seven. Okay. All right. She's going yeah. to hand you an advance healing. Here we go. That's Torky. All right. <clears throat> okay, I'll be making more soon. I'm going to need to make a run to the merchants at off least to buy now. some more. And what were you going to tell me? I'm sorry, Shriek. I didn't mean to ignore you. From now on, be sure to use the next door or the back door if you end up coming here. Use, use the back. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate right. it. I will. <clears throat> I have two I'll advances on me. I gave one to you. You can't if carry more than one. anyone's not holding one, I can. Unless you're a healer, just so you're aware. Exactly. Okay. I'll, I'll leave it here. I'll if no take one. I'll take one. Fuck it. One in their pocket. Or maybe give it to Sif. She doesn't oh, have one. You need it? All right. <sighs> oh. I'll take it. I know uh, Sarah's coming All with right. a few that she's probably going to give one to me. Okay. If you yeah, don't use it, I would uh, like it she... back. But use it if you need yeah, it. Yeah, she bought three. But yeah, she bought three from me, so... Okay. You have any more, or was that your last one? That was the last one of what I could make today. Right. Uh, I was only able to make four enough for the herbs that was gathered and had in stock. No worries. <sighs> I gotta make my way home where I'm safe, so... You gonna make it back okay? Yes, uh, Tyr told me to take two of my woodland uh, entourage that came with me. So yeah, let whoever that is in. Please. They're gonna lead me back home. Thank you. They're All gonna right. lead me back to my home. I need, I need to oversee the the building of the palisade, anyways. Is your bottle carbonated? <laughs> Just a little bit. I let it get fizzy. If you need to. That's why it's a bonus you action. To take Hag with you. Cassie will. Cassie knows how to write him well. Mm. I'll get the door. Mm. <laughs> they knows how to now because she learned how to ride horses. And that's one of her new skills she picked up. Nice. Mm. So I can ride horses. We still gotta have our race sometime. Oh yes. No, no, I'm coming, I'm coming. It's time. All right. Well, I can't go out that way. He said not to go out that way. Go right. Yeah, I know. I'm going, I'm going. <coughs> also, I don't know if you all saw, but there was smoke in what sounded like a siege coming from up the road to the north, so... What's ever okay. happening, apparently the Imperials are fighting. <clears throat> to the north? Mm. Up near the Cross Keys Inn, that direction. Oh, okay. I was thinking. That's the way we're going. I thought that was east. <clears throat> that way is north, Tordy. Yeah, that's the that problem, though. Oh, mm. sorry. I'm not on a boat. Uh, I can't see the stars. I can only assume it's the orcs. Be a good assumption. But if there's smoke rising, I'm not sure. Unless the orcs manage to breach their walls, which is... <clears throat> as much as I hate the Imperials, 
concerning, Sarah. You're not wrong in that regard. Mm. Will your father be joining us tonight? Of course. All right. A few important questions I need to ask. I'm sure he's going to brief us on the full plan once he gets here. Mm -hmm. I'll be outside. Mm -hmm. well, it's good that your mom's coming because I definitely didn't take m food from his place and leave money. <laughs> I mean, I did it too. I didn't even know. What happened to you? What the fuck? Oh, that's <laughs> understandable, though. <laughs> Don't worry, I paid for it today. <sighs> Were you in the wagon that came back? Let's see. Robber Baron made his move. Against him. Tulo Keep has fallen. Fuck. What keep? 400 plus heavily armored men are overtaking it right now. So it's not the embassy. There's a keep further to the north yeah. of the embassy, just goes across the northern border. You're saying that's fallen? Yes. Mm. Our bomb mentioned that place. that is like impenetrable. Apparently not. Taken over by bandits or something? No. Oh. It's taken over by the robber baron now. Mm. Are you okay to come with us tonight? The noose is tightening. <laughs> Yeah, I'm all right. How are you with those medicals? Those potions and such? Still have the three Venora gave me. Didn't get a chance to talk to Soma. Soma's going to be coming with us. He'll have his entire medical supply with us. Is he? He seemed pretty adamant on coming. Keep it quiet. <laughs> Told you to be careful. I'm all right, really. I'm not injured. Not anymore, at least. My arm is fine as well. Mm. Oh, okay. It was a lot. I'm tired. One, two, three, I was seeing four, things. Six, seven. Why, why is there a floating cube? It's been a long time since I've seen things that weren't really there. I am missing two people. Take a second. We've got some time before we gotta go. Probably Soma and Tazim. Harry just left. We also need Morden. That's it's gonna be okay. We need Morden. If Do you know where he last was? I don't know. Similar to what you were talking about. Have you about checked his things. studies? Yeah. This is real. Alright. I promise. What's going on? Kyla takes off his gloves. <laughs> it's 
focus on how they feel. Hmm. Everything else comes after. Okay. Good. How's everyone else squared away? Ready. As much as I can be. I know a lot of us are worked up right now. It is imperative that we do this as surgically as we can. Keep the hate and anger for when it's over. While we do this, we need to be quiet, we need to be quick. No flashy moves, no room for mistakes. Everyone understand? Yeah. We'll end it here. Mm -hmm. Mark my words. We'll end it here. Wanted to sit next to you guys. Sure. Da -da -da -da. Actually, with three grapes and a vine. <laughs> Don't. Da -da -da -da. Actually, with three grapes on a vine. Da -da -da -da. Is this a song I don't know? The other day, when I was I having a really bad headache, a vine. <laughs> um, that was being repeated inside my head as I was uh, crashing, and now <laughs> she says it. Oh no! <laughs> Actually, we're like two grapes on a vine. <laughs> so please don't. <laughs> At least you weren't on a buffalo. The man, the man on a buffalo. The guy, the guy on the buffalo. We're gonna get crumbs everywhere. He's got the cornflakes. He does that, it's his way of coping. One day, the guy on the buffalo was running <laughs> around in the forest, seeing the bear. I don't know don't how many fucking oh, times I've come into this house, there have been no lights on whatsoever, and he is sitting at that table eating just mm. crackers by the handful okay. in the darkness. Uh, Morden is, well, getting his arm Marcus on. Marcus called him fat. Rude. What? What's that about? Rude. I you called call Cyrus what? fat. No, no. Yeah, you did. That is not <laughs> what I did. <laughs> oh, we were just waiting on to this point. I'm gonna power through. Whatever. <laughs> Cade you know what you're not gonna power through? Came back in Scott. on a. Oh no, it's mine. Cade came back in on a wagon, heavily injured. So I don't know if he's coming. He's in the infirmary right now. Oh, God shit. damn it, Cade! So I should patch him up. Well, he threw himself at a problem, but. You know. I swear like to God, Cade. if he sundered his armor. He probably <sighs> well, sundered his armor. Slow. We're gonna have to go. God fucking damn it. You have the You have the, re you have the, the If he's yeah. very injured. I know, but it's the principle of the matter. <laughs> you just need to charge him more and more If he's more very time. injured, and he, he went out with That's armor. That's literally what I'm doing. <laughs> Eventually My he'll get to the bubble. point where he can't afford it. Yeah, a crossbow bolt went through Aegon's head much, yes. and hit the guy he was fighting. How? Out of everybody here, who can actually swim? Is Aegon dead? No. I can swim. Which no, of us can not. swim? I, I, oh no, I can't swim. 
I'm good at that. You can't swim. I know, right? Majority, then. No, very good. well. We have to teach you. Can I swim? I can teach you. Yeah, well, that's it. That'll be our trial time. I can to swim. We'll teach her how to swim. Yeah, mm. finally, please. Do it for Do it for I don't want to swim. Yeah, please. It's one thing I, I can actually teach drinker. you. I'm not a triton. You know? I stay <laughs> on the dry land. Oh, there's the concern I'm going to be coming, bringing up. Okay. I don't want to yeah. swim. But what if you have to get on a boat again? I would rather fucking die. How bad? That's what's going to happen if you get on a boat again. How bad are we talking? Like, if you fall like in, are you going to sink to the bottom? Do I need to jump after Ship. you? Mm. I'll jump after you. Or oh, something well, will jump the... after you. <clears throat> it was a lot worse I with the shackles. You. Yeah, I bet. So. Hold that giant chain. Keep an eye on them. We're going to be I, working I together. I saved Vaz from... Yeah. Sarah yeah. mentioned these things as All the right. conversation immediately moves on to swimming, but it feels like the comment about the bolt just seemingly goes unnoticed. The conversation's already moved on, of course. Unless someone can hold their breath for really long. You know, in the north, we actually did something where we cut a hole in the ice and then jump in. Yes, is that a problem? I've never even seen ice. Oh, you're right. I've never even already. seen ice. I'm sorry. <laughs> what? I, I, no. Yes, I am drunk. No. I sounded like, today I saw a balloon. I, <laughs> I never even seen ice, though. I swear to God, I saw one of your eye blink and then the other one. It was like a blink blink. I swear to God, I saw that when I turned I, to look I, at you. I don't know what you're fucking talking about. There's no the way, way you saw it. that at all. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna die. You guys are crazy. It's down to me. You're drunk as fuck. You're, what do you've you got mean? PTSD. Here, Tori, I'm I physically you fucked. You should be drunk on a boat. That is what would make it be the best. You understand that, right? Oh, and the robber baron has trebuchets. Yes, he told us as much. <gasps> oh, Trip right. Uh, if I drown tonight. <sighs> Don't look at me like that. If I, if I, if more they wound her, just take that thing of saltine sprinkle, sprinkle it into that casket. Hello. No flowers. Hello. 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 You see as Cyrus <laughs> says these words, small flecks of hardtack and crackers go spewing out of his mouth, caught in his beard. <laughs> Still enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Problem happens? solved. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, make another I got hit on the head. <sighs> so many times. Is that you unfold oh, thyself. If you touch right here, I feel a big hole in my head. Oh. No, I don't think I do. I don't think I, I want to. He just puts his hand against your head softly. Did I say Morgan? I'm sorry, I meant Morgan. Yeah, you did. It's very disrespectful. Well, I mean, that's also the name of my sword as well, so... It's fucking scary. Everybody was screaming. I... I get it. Siege is never fun, huh? Mm. Everything was fine, minus the smoke and... fucking Lodia. Oh. She should be a commander herself. She's the only reason I got through that whole fucking place. So, I smacked my head once, and then someone... Hey, and I have a quick question for you. Maybe something threw me into a wall, and I smacked my head again. There was just so much blood everywhere, and that I was still in. I will likely not be anywhere near that water if I can avoid it. Ew. Ew. Please, we've seen each other covered in blood enough times. Irrelevant given what I am wearing, lad. Ew. Ew. I will think it was horrible. All right, Shriek. No more rule of. We didn't even get paid. Ow. Careful. Too loud. All right, everyone. 
How are we for medical? Does anyone not have an advanced healing potion? Raise your hand. You don't. You don't. You've got I've crackers, got you're fine. I have three that I can... I don't. <laughs> Lisa. I have three advanced healings that I can hand out. You need an advanced repair kit is what you need. I'm Please give one to Lisa. Yeah, good fucking luck. I tried Lisa. making those. And I'll need one myself, too. <laughs> I have one for you, Sharik. Thank you. Don't worry, I got duct tape. Oh, you can take Here one of yours. Give, give one to, um, Harry. It's up to you. Fix a broken Thank neck. You. Very well. Mm. Um, <clears throat> oh, so glad we have so many with us. <laughs> Wait four hours. Keep it on your person. I'll give the other one to Soma. No, if you don't mind. I, I was just in combat for like an hour. I'm gonna to go piss and not be in this heads up. Because... Do that. Go piss, girl. Go shishi. Go shishi. I'm using your bedroom, Sharik. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. Oh, mine, it's, it's Olena's. Bed. It's, Can, again, Olena's. Oh, fuck. Olena? I'm kidding. Don't come up here. Or do. Wink. <laughs> I wonder if I can fit <laughs> Cyrus, you coming with us? Well, I don't have anything better to do tonight, so... Are you cracker drunk right now? I could be. No, he's cracker jacked. <laughs> you mix alcohol what with crackers. Are you insane? <laughs> you know, it, 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 you should take a note from that, Jordy. Dunk crackers into it's beer. Like that strange to you? Why would you ruin a beer like that? I've what? never heard of that. No, you like you take a drink of beer and a bite of pretzel. Oh, okay. It's yeah, like, that makes sense. Don't mix thing. it together, though. What? No. What, like a like a mush? It becomes a porridge. Stout. It becomes a porridge. You can't you just... make me. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> the worst <laughs> porridge. <laughs> Ugh. Look, I might be no, old, but I don't need anyone to preach you my fucking pretzels. <laughs> Out of character. Don't you look fucking how baby old bird. Is. <laughs> it's been around since when? Marcus. Was, uh, AD. So, yes. uh, how are you on Akira! health potions? I don't. I only have yeah, a bandage. I hardly know okay. her. Well, you look like shit. Yeah, what the fuck nice. happened to you? I feel like shit. Probably smell like shit too. All my money goes to the Did you sunder your building, armor? So. No. Maybe I should have. Oh. There you there go. Better if I did. But I am, a, I am able to <laughs> well, carry I'm one if people you. have to. Well, you're richer now that you haven't. Do you have you a healing swim. potion? I know how to I swim. Do not. How well can I swim with a fucking javelin wound on my shoulder? That's a different question. <clears throat> Would you mind? Fair enough. Would someone get to you? <sighs> yes, but wounds don't heal like that. How am I giving it to you? Oh, so we're so missing then is <clears throat> Tazim. We should be good. Keep this on your person, no, right. So, so this is uh, determined by you, Marcus. Thank you, friend. All right. I'll keep the I'm last one on my person. Which one is this one? Up, because if it's there's no survivors, then I can touch. be like this. Like this? Someone said for us to go get him when it's time. It might be better for someone less conspicuous to get him. Ideally, if someone surrenders, we keep Thank them you, alive. Because <clears throat> they'll be sent off. Had one there, yeah, one on my right. hip, one on my like legs. Nobody is custom. going right to back. surrender because they have nothing that, you know, <laughs> Nothing to live right. for. Make sure to take care of yourself. We don't know that. We'll see. We know there's mercenaries. No, we'll see. Some mercenaries see, yes, aren't end-all be-all. They're just in it for the coin. <clears throat> we don't know unless we go there. So I should cover up then. Yes, <laughs> that would be ideal. <sighs> Fucking hell. Thank all you. right, I'll be right back. Thank you, Tony. If I'm doing yeah. it, you're doing it. <clears throat> Right. What? Mm -hmm. <sighs> I got through this guys. I know, I know you do. I, I, I've seen you in it. I was agreeing with you. Oh, right, you have. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was one time. Stupid. Uh, I'm stupid. Sorry. 
a proper grabs a pen, <laughs> draws <laughs> dick on forehead. If we, su if we survive tonight, there's a uh, 50 copper. Oh, I'm not changing your, um, here. Marcus, I'm changing. Oh, yeah. oh my god, I didn't know who the, the, the fuck little, you were. Uh, and I was like, <laughs> who the fuck? I appreciate it. Yay, that disguise <laughs> works. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is this drow? Who? <laughs> Did you bring this in with you? Oh, no. Nice. Oh, who's that? Nice. Who brought uh, the hoe? Nice. Yeah, yeah watch <laughs> this. Nice. Oh, that's mine. Come here. It might have been yes. on it's me yours. And nice. Probably. Yeah. Have you, haven't you ever seen a pull on before? On someone I cut about you should have seen it. Like do this. I fucking I shot my I shot my crossbow. the smallest spear I have ever seen. Up some so. stairs, mm -hmm. past Aegon's head, spear, and I swear, I fucking froze because I thought I nailed him back there. But it went right through it. Inside this bag so, is something I swore I would never. To the the enemy's never pick up again. Albert, so, how that? No, that's more like a war true <laughs> It must have been the smoke. And what is that? As a matter of fact, maybe it, it like is. bent my vision or something. It's an I old friend, I, so. I think that. Okay, it yeah, should be all incredible shots that you managed to achieve the impossible. Alive, <clears throat> by the way. I think I fucking like yeah. air bent the air. The air Guards were asking about this head, like this morning. They wanted to know who it belonged to. Okay, could have <clears throat> It may have hit the back of his head. I'll just put it on later. Hit the wall and bounced out into the person around him. Wow. Okay. Just, that would have been an impressive shot. Let me meet your friend. I think my mind was it's alright. One more day and it won't even matter. Exactly. Your mind is capable of more than you think it is. Oh, oh shit. I'm nervous. I got. came out with this thing on my it's face. Good. I don't. Swords. Sarah, do you know well, how this... I, have a really I don't know, I great, uh, walked down the oh, stairs and there was something on my face. That so... pretty well. It's a nice scimitar. Oh, uh, let me get it. It's like... It's um, great. Wow, right in the forehead, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. Is. Okay. Is that grape juice? I never needed it. That oh, no, this is... Well, I have gloves on right now. Oh, but... okay. Right. You want your gloves back? What's your friend's name? So quite expensive. Would you like a bucket? And they're important. Uh, they are important. Oh. That's why we're holding on to them for now. Bianca. Bianca. Alright. May. Hmm. Do you need a bucket to clean up? Yeah. A nice snack for my pet bear. <clears throat> I should. Shouldn't I? Pardon, sir. Oh, there's probably blood on the inside of them now. There usually is, don't worry. <clears throat> My name is Pontifex Maximus. <coughs> the fuck? No, it isn't. Wow, you had some uh, really weird a, parents. Um, I got a nice clean water bucket but and a rag. Then they get actually excited. Thank you. Serves you. Hmm. Well, my name's I do a lot of cleaning so around here. I don't so really have a place to talk about the way. You do the cleaning. I know. Yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's Cyrus. Cyrus. Remember, because all the non humies that come in here are dirty, you know? It's just My filthy, pleasure, you know? Cyrus. I'm kidding. Are you was the the chief Mars? priest of Rome, which is a place I that mean, doesn't exist. Oh. <laughs> no, that would be oh. too. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you wanted to learn about Drow? <laughs> <laughs> Listen! <laughs> like that. We're about ready. Wait, no, to Zoom. Yep. I think Don't maybe he'll want to go over the plan, not me, so. Definitely. And then people can ask their questions. Bianca's always taken care of me. Never named a weapon of mine before, and they certainly will. Hmm. You're mm. lucky then. Never passed them yeah. off. He got a handle on it. <laughs> Going steel. Wow, okay, mister. Lucky for them. Well, uh, 
We in Gradia, we're a very superstitious lot. What can you do? Well, I am in a very Makes angry sense. mood, so yes, very much so. <clears throat> Keep it in you for now. Mm. We can't afford to make mistakes or... I'm quite aware. Yeah, you know. Well, unfortunately, killing is back on the table. Yeah. I'll try to spare who we can. All this time. Thank you. That means a lot to me. And I never realized. <clears throat> hmm. They didn't spare uh, anyone. Not one of us. Well, I should be them. Don't take it out on the world, Lady Your Sif, group hides please. it very well, Cyrus. Much better. My compliments. You take what you get. Sam is here. That's good. Yeah. How are you feeling? Emotionally or physically? I guess the answer is the same. Wounded. We'll talk about emotionally after we survive tonight. Um, but physically, yes, more so. It hurts. I'm just gonna grit my teeth and. We've given our medical supplies out as much as we can. Everyone's ready. Yes. Waiting on you. I know why I'm here. Everyone, come to the main I room. Have... <sighs> I'm wondering what you're worried about, Cyrus. That's it. I'm an old friend of Cyrus. She's good at Listen up. There is a ship. It is going to be arriving tonight, according to the dead drop. The last thing that Carlissa left us was the date the ship was meant to arrive. On that ship, in addition to the sailors that are there, is going to be heavily armed mercenaries. The Capitano is in full panic. Once this is gone, it is gone. He will have no money, no influence, no way to bribe, and all that will be left is a fear that is beginning to give way to sickness and revulsion by those who serve him. This will by no means be an easy task. But there are two things I want to make very clear. First of all, we are not savages. If someone surrenders, they have surrendered. You will not attack them further. Because once this is done, especially, we will be on the right side of the law. They cannot come back and hurt any of us. Secondly, When we were back at the Spice Farm, there was a woman there that I had disarmed. I had taken her weapon from her. Her helmet had been rent from her head. And I had thrown her against barrels and told her not to move until it was all over and to flee when it was done. So there she laid injured. One of our number murdered them. Someone in this room murdered them. If you are here with me, you are not a monster nor a savage. There are times when it is necessary. There are times, because of what we do, when our face is seen. Things must be done to ensure word does not get out, but tonight is not one of those nights, because by the morning of the next dawn after tomorrow, we will have the law on our side. If I catch anyone murdering someone who is innocent or has been disarmed and is a non-combatant, 
I will pull my blade on you. Any one of you. And God help you. If you think you can take me. Now, with that out of the way, as long as we work together, no one in here will die. We will be careful, surgical, in our strike. The people who are there, they're smugglers. They're not fighters, they're not killers, they're smugglers. While they may be on the wrong side of the law, I'm not there to butcher them. We're going to find the man named Herbaja who was in charge of them. And we're going to convince Herbaja to his best interest and long-lived life to work with us. Once that is done, I will split you into two teams. One of you for infiltration and the other purely for combat when the time comes. The infiltration team is going to act like you are with Herbaja. You're going to act like you are smugglers. And you are going to go onto the ship like it is the norm and begin unloading it. As this is done, these smokers, the three that Tordi has provided us with, three of you and the infiltration team, will place them inside of the upper deck where the powder apparently is. These will have to be lit, and we will need the smoke to billow. Make sure the windows and the sides of the quarters are opened. You must start a panic. The rest of us will be waiting wherever it is that these smugglers unload their goods. When everyone is flushed off the ship, those of us waiting and hiding will come out and demand that they throw down their arms in the name of the Redods. We will invoke the dynasty's name in the <clears throat> hopes that it will spread fear through their ranks and make them flee. It is likely that whatever dinghies are present, the sailors themselves will try to flee across the channel, perhaps even swim for it. So be it. But Kalissa put in her information that the Capitano has bought high-tier mercenaries to ensure that this ship does not fall into the wrong hands. The number given was anywhere from 40 to 45. Let that number sink in. 40 to 45. We will have to be careful. Remember, a man in full plate cannot swim. If you must push them into the water to save your life, do so. A man in full plate has trouble getting up. If you need to double team one, do so. No heroes. You do that, you're going to get yourself killed. <coughs> No. I see a couple faces here I did not invite. Harry, Soma, Tang, Lisa. Are your intentions to come with us? Indeed. Yes. Support, yes. She's not budging on this. She doesn't have a choice. Are you coming or not? Because of how vastly we're outnumbered, I will allow it. But in the future, I pick particular people for a reason. The cart is ready on the docks. If you know how to ride a horse, get your horses to the docks. I'll see if I can get a second cart if necessary. Everyone should have a bandage and a potion on them. If you do not, you're asking for death. This man can not die. We are at the precipice of it all, so let me make it very clear to everyone in the room. Gabam is an informant for the Baron of Mem. He has his eyes and ears in the city. Because a mem does not rely on the god, he cannot trust them. This man will be the only reason why we do not hang for acting against the god. If he dies, so do we. 
He will be assisting, as he is no stranger to a sword, and we will need all the help we can get. Now, with that being said, all of you who are heavily armored, go over there. Plate, chain. The rest of you who are not, go over here. I fall in that. I don't know, idiot. What are you wearing? <laughs> not there, so you're well. over here. Well, I may not be as heavy, but it works the same. <laughs> the thickness of your head does not count for the arm. <laughs> no, unfortunate. <sighs> this is what's going to happen. Everyone here with me is dedicated to combat. We will be waiting for you to flush everyone off the ship. Everyone that's over here is going to be acting as if you are smugglers. You're going to let Herbaja take the lead once he's been fucking convinced that if he does this, he will survive. And you will find your way on that ship. Who are the three that are going to try and plant the smoke bombs? Myself, Torti, and Sarah. Torti, Kyla, Sarovith. Very well. Your job, the three of you, but to place those in the different corners of that room and light them. The rest of you, when the smoke is seen billowing out, are to cause a commotion and a panic. Get people to flee the ship. When that happens, the end of the chain, it must be pulled taut and locked. Rejoin us at our hiding place. When that is done, and we think most people have fled off the ship, we will come out and demand the surrender. You must regroup with us so you're not surrounded. Otherwise, you may get cut down, separated from us. When we do this, it is likely that most who are non-combatants will seek to flee. For those who then pick up weapons, or those who are already armed, will be our enemies. The ship will be going nowhere. If it looks like they try to flee, allow them to flee. I do not want to try and take on 45 men with just, what, 15, 20? Do not try our luck. Are there any questions? I have something to add. If we think it will help, if this is a matter of uh, intimidating the enemy, so we may not have to face as many as we do, I heard talks of uh, attempts to make it look as though there were more of us than there really are will really lay on an intimidation factor. <clears throat> if that's the case, I do have this if it comes in handy. It's an orcish war whistle. Makes a terrifying cry when you blow into it. My concern is if the wrong people hear it. We're not very far mm. from... Apparently, where the robber baron's main keep is, according to mm. Vesrin. If it comes to it, we'll give it a shot. But the point if we is, need a more the panic... If we need a more subtle uh, signal or something to call each other from separate groups, I do have a boats and whistle. It's just a shrill, high note. It's not so much for trying to communicate <coughs> to scare the enemy. That being right. said, that is a purpose. When the ship is smoked, you break away, come with us. We will present one solid force. There's enough of us who are armed that it may cause some of them to think twice. Do not think that these high-paid mercenaries are going to break and run. We just don't want the sailors to pick up weapons. Because then it's not just 45. It's more than that. For the Very people well. going on the ship, will we have our weapons with us, or should we leave them with you? That is why this is risky. You will leave your weapons in the hiding place. All right. That's why you must break away. The rest of you who are not placing the smoke bombs go out of your way to create a distraction, not overtly. 
talk to some of them, get them to not pay attention while these two do their work. Or three, I should say. Understood? Understood. Good. Understood. Taught him. Then, if you have horses, bring oh. them to the Smoke port. Bombs. The rest of you, get out there. There'll be a wagon ready. Let's get it done. I would suggest. Oh, I would suggest that a bunch of you go out the hole in the wall to the left and not be seen on the paths outside. They have to go to the docks anyway. Would you like to ride with him? Lena should have the uh, back of her horse free. <laughs> For me? I don't mind that. Sure. Let's see how you two look at each other. <laughs> I'll leave that up to Olena. How about that? I could just order I her to do it. I could always take the cart if there is one. There will be a cart. <gasps> It's up to you then, Wolf. You don't see this, fuck you. What do you want? <laughs> Alright, well, which of you You're is getting up? <clears throat> Cannot. I have room on mine. <laughs> I believe. Good. Um, we'll see. Head's a bit foggy. Alright. It gave me something, so I don't really feel anything right now. Stick that close to me. Sense. I can't take off my weapons on this. If someone needs, oh, they can shit. ride with me. No, they're gonna. It's okay. It's not there. Yeah. <coughs> oh no. You'll be coming. How are you nearly as tall as me when I'm on a horse? I'm big. She's big. Oh. Hold on, let me just turn into my pet bear for a moment. Uh, no. <clears throat> oh, fuck that. that is the I last thing we want. So you know. <clears throat> hey, Maiden, I need a ride. By all means. Sorry, Kyla, she's mine now. I was the one that suggested it. <laughs> you can watch the good life. That's what my arm maintains. Yeah. Oh, God. How's your head? Not my light. I don't feel a thing. They gave me some funny fucking potion. Thank uh, you, Lottie. Fuck. I, I might wear off. I don't know. Are those right now? She said something, um. Con. 
Con confused. I'm in need of a strong decision. Concussion. Yeah, that one. That one. There's guards. Just make them move on. The crate, Cyrus, in the back has your armor. Make sure you put it on. Don't be seriously. Actually, actually kept it, all right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to open the gates. Fancy armor and your fancy weapons. Can't Feeling ready? What good are you, eh? Uh, Be careful. I will go with trade anyone here for you. What is that now? You feel a fist on your back. I was curious who you had to ask. She's got you. Uh, oh, I was just leaving everyone to talk. Good luck. on tight. Always one. <laughs> those conversations, those weird ones. That
<laughs> Hope you're holding on. <laughs> oh my god. Good maelstrom. <laughs> Good maelstrom. <laughs> Soma, get a torch yes. out. Place it near the wagons. Got it. Soma. Got it. Man, I'm kidding. All of you come over here. Forty. Stay by me. Yeah. All right. Put your hood up, dummy. I hate that. We get like. Well, you should do something oh. about that if you're feeling stupid. You're probably right. Yeah. I thought I put it up and I didn't. Probably blew back with the wind. You already did it. <clears throat> Probably. He's funny. Let's go. Get over here. Everyone. I can smell it on you. I was stabbed three times, that's all. Get stabbed last, loser. <sighs> Working on it. Put a can in it, listen. We're gonna break up into those two teams. Those of us waiting for the signal will stay here at the wagons. I'm going to go with Tang and get the chain in place. Those of you meant to infiltrate, Abaja is gonna be down there with his men. The ship is not here yet. We need to replace them. I need you to identify who Abaja is and make sure you can get him in your grasp before he flees. Actually, combat team, you will not be waiting here yet. We will go with them so we can help form a perimeter to stop them from escaping. All right. Sharik, you have charge of the infiltration team. Get everybody that's with you, and that includes the monk, because they're lightly armored. Go identify who they are and where they are. We will wait here. When we'll be we back. know, you come tell us, we'll get in position around the town. All right. This is going to be hard. Um, yeah, bring a torch if you need it, but where keep it low. Where are we leaving our weaponry? For now, take your weapons, because we need to get Herbaja and his men to surrender. <sighs> All right, guys, on me. Understood. Right. Here's the torch. I'll take that. The rest of you, relax. So, I assume there's something you will know in regards to how you're supposed to convince this man to work with us instead of against us. Violence, I would suspect. You think you can handle that, Gobum? You seem to know your way around uh, an interrogation. <laughs> Better question, then. 
second. So I do. Alright. Let me know if we are. Well, he's doing the talking. Do I have any limits on what I can do to get them talking? Needs to <clears throat> needs to not look like he's fucked up because remember he's gonna be using us he's our key to getting onto that ship. Alright, those of you that don't need that need the light, stay here. Those of you that don't with me. We're gonna try and identify him. Sneaky, you guys. Hmm? Not you. Come on. Rude. I mean, have you seen her? Yeah. Alright, lead the team up to this point if you can. Down. At the docks, Skylar, you can see that there's a great number of smugglers and dock workers that seem to be getting ready for something, preparing. Torty, head back to the rest of the group. Lead them to this point here. Without the light, if you can. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Are you ready? Your eyes open for anyone pointing or giving orders. Perception check, Cerevis. With an 18, you can clearly pick out the individual in command here. It's the individual that's walking down the pier. He's carrying something. Shouting orders. He gets closer. They can get a better look at him. Gray hair, wearing almost noble looking clothes. Speaking with a number of the smugglers. Looking down, you can identify, based off that information, who might be who. But you still don't know where they're bringing the actual goods. Wherever it is would probably be the hiding spot for your allies. Did you see where he took that box from? No. Keep an eye on him. I gotta stay in between the two of you. Move around if you need be. See if you can figure where that is. Be quiet. Right. Max, come on. I'll move off to the other side here. I can feel the rest of the rock. Yep, okay. Stand over to the side. Don't make too okay. much noise. Be quiet. I can hear you from the rooftops. Let's keep it quiet. Come on. Okay. Yeah, quiet, quiet, quiet. Oh, got you. Okay. Go ahead, stand over there. Yeah. Oh, you're, Gross. you're fine. Okay. The black of night. Lose sight. Careful, she'll break. Individual tracking. Okay. Okay. Now come on forward over here. 
To work down here. Shriek, as you stand here, you see the older man again at the end of the road, <clears throat> looking for something. Everyone crest this roof slowly, just your head, just your eyes. Take note of that man with the gray, gray hair. That's our person. Understand? Quietly. Understood. Yes. Understood. Sarah's trying to figure out where they're going to dump this stuff. The old Those man of you that just went into that building. As dark as it is, the I think that's it. Roof Maybe. Is somewhat slippery. They were looking for something. You find yourself having a little bit of trouble getting traction this close to the water. And they went to there. Dangerous. So. You assume the fall on the other side would probably be enough to kill you. You take great care to move slowly. As the two of you peer down there, you'll see that Herbaja and several men came out of that building that they lit the lantern on. It is fair to assume this might be where things will be moved when the ship arrives. But you have some time to observe and plan. Sif, Gobam, Soma, and Shilbrook. Down on those rocks down there. You understand? Go down that way if you need to. Actually, that might be too hard. Yeah, yeah. It might. Let me scout. How, yeah. We can do that, if that's what you call. Do it. Keep it slow, then we have time. As they touch your face, okay. you look down at them again. You Everyone's clearly like, remember except... watching metal. Uh, These two. What was it? Dissipate? Okay. Dissolve? Heat? Okay. Come on, follow me. We're going was down. Was that you? Marin, Lisa. Things have been quiet for a long while. With Marin me. and when Wolf, was I think that? you two stay up here. Okay, okay And... Sarah... Good. That blade was coming right for your throat. You know a killing blow when you see one. That shouldn't have happened. Shariq, as you come over to Sarah with the side, you'll see that her eyes are narrowed and she just keeps staring at her hand, flipping it over, looking at her palm, looking at the top, uncharacteristically silent. It's a hand on your shoulder. Focus on how they feel, okay? I'm gonna position this other group. They have very nice things. gloves. They are, yes. Hang back if you need, okay? Mm. Alright. You, you too. With a critical one. I'm just gonna grab your arms each. <clears throat> this way. A little drop. Got 
Deutsche. No good. Back up this way. Sarah, can you take Marin or Wolf? I can't do both of them at once. Wait here. Stay crouched. <laughs> Stick with Marin. I'm gonna get the heavy team. Team. We've identified the person, <clears throat> and we've identified where you guys are going to hold out. If you guys want to come with me, if you can set up security. Absolutely. I guess story time will wait for an <laughs> For now. Grab that torch if you need it. We need to move quick. Heading straight through this. I don't want to get split up. Torch off. Hold here. Elena, with me. Can I grab your shirt? Oh, fuck. I can't see shit. It's okay. Okay, here. You say that. See the corner of that building there? Yes. That is the entrance to this building, which is where they've been hiding most of their stuff. That's where most of you will be staying. This road goes further down to the corner there. I'm going to move you all there quietly. Once you guys are there, I'll move the other teams in position. Make sure that they don't uh, make too much noise. You'll be holding security. Understand? Okay. Understood. Back to the others. All right, all of you form a daisy chain. Oh, Grab each other's close. hands. Keep it quiet. Let's go. All right. He's got you. Gonna 
put your hand on this building. All right, stay here for now. Tuck up underneath mm -hmm. it. Stay quiet. Sarah, get these two down there near those barrels. Hide amongst them if you can. 